Hi everybody and welcome, this is the Apostate Prophet. Lately I have made a lot of joke videos and responses to Muslim apologists, who are also jokes. Today I finally want to talk about something relevant, something important, something that is about to happen. The end of the world. As we are speaking, numerous Muslims around the world are watching quite new videos that dramatically talk about the end of the world that is about to happen. And it's always the same pathetic dramatic language and the humming in the background and some weird imam speaking. It is very mainstream to talk about it and to tell each other about the end of the world and all the things that are about to happen. Muslims often say things like, the minor signs of judgment day have already appeared or are appearing. The problem is that these minor signs of judgment day, which are prophecies by Muhammad, are a joke. They are so vague, in 1000 years people can still point at them and say, look, this is happening right now. Of course, in 1000 years no one will believe in Islam. What I really want to talk about are the major signs of judgment day. Their appearance means that there is no turning back. Everything is going to be messed up, there will be blood, and everything will soon be over. Finally. But before we go on, I must thank my sponsors. The problem is that I don't have any sponsors. Except you. you. Most of my videos are not monetized, so they don't show any ads, and I don't get any ad revenue from them. That will most likely be true for this video as well. If you want to support me and what I'm doing, please consider supporting me on Patreon or on apostateprofit.com. I appreciate your support very much. The expected major signs of the Day of Judgment are the following. The Mahdi. Okay, I will not count the Mahdi as part of the Ten, because the Mahdi is traditionally not part of these signs. This is a complicated issue, I will definitely make a video on this stuff. Muslims believe that a character known as the Mahdi, the Guided One, will appear and will rule with justice and defeat evil. Evil in Islamic terms. I mean, music is evil in Islam, but not slavery, for example. I can't wait for the Mahdi to come and finally bring an end to hip-hop. Or country music. Or just TikTok. Jokes aside, this Mahdi issue is such a big deal in Islam, throughout history so many people have claimed that they are the Mahdi, or that the Mahdi has appeared. I learned similar things, it's insane. This issue is also handled differently in Shia Islam and in Sunni Islam. Twelve Shia Muslims believe that their twelfth Imam was the Mahdi, but that he went into a spiritual hiding and will appear when the time has come to bring justice to the world. He's really taking his time in this hiding. The basic premise is that a guy will come before the end time events start, and he will rule over the Muslims. He will be a fighter in the end times, but this topic is so much detail, and actually so many surprises to Muslims, I will definitely make a separate video on this. So number one, the Dajjal. The Dajjal is probably the most popular sign of the Day of Judgment, and also the greatest scare story. The Dajjal is a character that is supposed to appear and start the tribulations of the end times. Dajjal means deceiver and comes from Masih al-Dajjal, which stands for the deceiving messiah or the false messiah. He is the Islamic equivalent of the Antichrist and was clearly taken from Christianity. According to Muhammad, this guy will be an imposter who claims to be the messiah and to have divine powers. He will also be blind on one eye and his eye will be hanging out like a grape. Ugh. He will kill and revive people, and he will dominate all the lands except Medina and Mecca. Obviously, Muhammad told this at a time where those cities were important to the existence of Muslims, whereas today they only serve as the cities that hold the holy sites. Here is a very big surprise. This ultimate evil guy will have a lot of Jewish followers. How shocking. You just can't get through something Islamic without the good old Jew hating. What is very funny is that the Muslims in Muhammad's time were expecting the Dajjal to come any time now. In fact, there was one person, namely Ibn Sayyad, whom many of them suspected of being the Dajjal. In fact, this was mentioned to Muhammad, and Muhammad didn't even object to that. He didn't say, no, this is not him, don't blame some random guy, don't label him as the Dajjal, there is still time for that. Those people were really thinking the world was going to end soon, and yet it is still around. What a shame. Oh, the Dajjal has Kafir, disbeliever, written between his eyes. It's very dumb that despite that people can't tell that he's evil and that he is the Dajjal. Maybe the Dajjal is one of those rappers with the tattoos on their faces. Even if you want to be a gangster, just be careful what you put between your eyes. After deceiving humanity and making them follow him and worship him, the Dajjal will eventually be countered and killed by... Jesus. Number 2. Jesus. According to Muhammad, Jesus will come again. 
The problem with this Jesus is that this is not the Jesus that Christians know. This Jesus will be quite brutal. He will break the crosses and declare Christianity to be false. He will fight Christians and destroy Christianity. He will also kill the pigs. I don't know why he does that. Isn't it sufficient to just ban pork? Why would you kill the poor pigs? Jesus will participate in Muslim practices, legitimize Islam, fight the Christians and the Jews and all those bad people, wage the ultimate jihad, and in the end he will blow himself up. <laughs> just kidding. In the end he will die or just wait for us on the imminent judgment day. Number three, Gog and Magog. This is one of the funniest beliefs about the Islamic judgment day. Gog and Magog are supposed to be a crazy, numerous tribe of people that is kept behind a wall through which they are trying to dig. And once they are through that wall, they will numerously attack all humanity. They will come from every hill and destroy everybody. First off, we see the entire planet today. And there is definitely not some brutal, hostile tribe caught behind a wall which they are digging to free themselves. Because that's what Muhammad describes literally in so many reports. In his time, Muhammad also warned that they are about to get out, that there is only very little time left. And yet, here we are, 1,400 years later. Nothing has happened. What's also funny is that Muhammad says they will defeat everybody and then they will throw their spears through the sky. And the spears will come back bloody and they will say, we have killed the people of the heaven. <laughs> First off, no one today in the 21st century would be dumb enough to throw spears up to the sky to kill some people in heaven. This whole thing is obviously very ridiculous, which is why you will see Muslims crazily reinterpret this. Number four, the beast of the earth. Another sign of the coming of the judgment day is a beast called Dabbat al-Ard, the beast of the earth. According to the Quran, Allah will bring forth a beast from the earth, which will speak to people and tell them that they didn't firmly believe in Allah's signs. There's not much known about this beast, but Muslims have speculated that this will be a big and scary beast that goes around putting marks on people's faces that will distinguish the believer from the disbeliever or the hypocrite. The emergence of a big, scary, fantastic beast probably sounded reasonable back then. Today it doesn't really make sense, and we would maybe just kill it. Number four, five, and six are three events where the earth is swallowed up, or where the earth sinks in three places. One in the west, one in the east, and one in the Arabian Peninsula. Obviously these are going to be very big. Wait for it, it's definitely going to happen. Whatever it will do. Number eight, the smoke. A very big cloud of smoke will come from the sky and cover the earth and the people. According to the Quran, this will be a painful torment. I don't know how. What's funny is that Muslims don't actually know much about this, and some early Muslims thought this had already happened, which can be observed in several hadiths. Since the world sadly didn't end 1,400 years ago, they have of course conveniently concluded that it can't have happened. Number 9. The sun will rise from the west. This one is my favorite sign of the Day of Judgment. In fact, I made a brief humorous video about this before and challenged the Muslims. Sadly, no one responded to my challenge. Muslims popularly believe that one day the sun will rise from the west and then the people will know that the end has come and no one's repentance will be accepted on that day. The problem is that this doesn't really work. The sun can't rise from the west. Muhammad did say to one of his dear followers, that the sun travels every night until it prostrates itself under the throne of Allah and then it asks for permission to rise again and it rises in the east. But one day Allah will not give the sun the permission to rise and it will be told to go back to where it came from and then the sun will rise from the west. <laughs> Clearly Muhammad didn't understand that it is the earth which spins and orbits the sun. It almost looks like Muhammad thought the earth was flat and the sun was this ball in the sky that just comes and goes. And number 10, the fire. According to Muhammad, after everything happened, a great fire will start in Yemen and this fire will be so big, it will drive the people in front of it to their place of assembly where judgment day will officially begin. So exciting. A fire here will drive everybody to their place of assembly? What about all the people in Australia, Japan, America? Will I not be assembled with that fire because I'm in America? Why can't we just be teleported? I have so many questions. What about the people in outer space? Just kidding, outer space doesn't exist in Islam. Let's just wait for the fire and see. I'm sure it will happen very soon if we are just patient enough. And that's it. These were the major 10 signs of the Day of Judgment. 
There is so much to say here, but looking at all these points, it clearly looks like another compilation of completely superstitious garbage from Mohammed. And just because it is so much fun, I will definitely talk about some of these topics separately. Especially the Mahdi, the Dajjal, Jihadist Jesus, or Gog and Magog, which are called Yajuj and Majuj in Islam. It sounds strangely dirty and suggestive. Yajuj and Majuj. <laughs> Yajuj Majuj. Yajuj Majuj. Anyway, that's it. I will come back soon with a lot of stuff, so you can Yajuj Majuj. <laughs> oh god, it's, it's, it's not even funny. This is so childish. We are talking about something serious here. It's the end of the world. Finally. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, you juj majuj. Okay, come on. If you like this video, don't forget to like and to subscribe. If you want to help me produce more videos, you can support me on Patreon or on apostateprofit.com. I appreciate all your support very much. I will be back very soon. Have a great day and you juj majuj. Stay away from Islam.